more than anything in the world. I'll do anything to get her back. She can't ever find out about this, Jack. No, she won't hear it from me, Trevor. And I'll talk to Stacy about it. All right, thanks. Yeah. Well, look, uh, you take care of that foot by yourself. And uh, keep me posted, buddy. Hi. Hi, Trisha. Um, sit on my way out. address from the university. Why? Why? Because I still have a lot of questions. Um, please don't... Listen. I was very angry at first, and then I was very hurt, but by then you had left Pine Valley. Things you've said to me made me feel that I've never known you. Well, you didn't. I didn't. I, I'm still learning who I am. Let me learn with you. Don't push this, please. I, I came here because I wanted to be by myself. You have that. You do. But by the twist of fate, we end up in the same town. Don't read into it. I mean, it's just a coincidence. No, I don't believe that. Don't you think we have unfinished business, sir? Honestly, I, I can't think about it right now. Excuse me. This is my phone number. You can reach me anytime. What happens next is up to you. He just left. <sighs> Time does heal. I'm sorry it's so painful now. It really is. But <sighs> part of me just feels safer this way, you know? I don't feel happy. I just feel safer. <sighs> Would you like for me to leave you alone, or is this is something you really would like to talk about. I was abused as a child for many years. Uh, incest. And my mother ignored it. It's just because she couldn't deal with the idea that my father would do something so horrible. Oh, my dear. Mm. Anyway, he's dead now. But when Jeremy and I started getting close again, and when we started talking about marriage, I, I started to see my father again inside my head. I mean, I, I understand that it was a fantasy, but it just seemed so completely real. And it must have been terrifying. Yes, I would hear his voice, and he'd say things to me and tell me that I would never be a good partner for a man, that I was going to be a bad wife, that I was going to be a bad mother. Anyway... That's why I left, Jeremy. Not because you don't love him. And it, since I've been here, it's amazing. I, I don't imagine that I see my father anymore. And it's like he's not inside my head anymore. Well, then, you've put that part of your past behind you. You've won a battle with yourself. Hey! I just had the most 
wonderful meeting with Father Nick Neal. Mm -hmm. Honey, I've got it all set up. High nuptials, a whole quarter, the whole nine yards. Hi, Paul. Hi, Frankie. Amy, hey, your lunch break is over in exactly nine minutes. We'll go hop into your sneakers and grab your pom poms. Yes, Sergeant. Huh? Have a nice day, Frankie. <laughs> <laughs> It's almost like having lunch with Tough Guy and Beauty. What? Free Kana? I'll die if I don't get a souvenir. Maybe I'll drop a french fry or something. You know, all we have to do is have a few counseling sessions with Father McNeil. Oh, honey. <laughs> honey, we're going to be the most married couple in Corinth. I can't wait. I better get back to work. You kiss first. I want to kiss. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it. Hey, 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 what are you doing? You dropped your spoon, sir. I know you. You're the kid that broke into the radio station, right? Ma! Honey. Hi, Daddy. I was worried you might be out. No, no, no. Come on in. It's a cold day. Winter. Yeah, sure is. You look good. Thanks. Well, I, I didn't know if you'd have your cousin Ida's address in Newcastle, so I came to give it to you. You can reach me there for the next few weeks. What happened to the house? Why did the church kick you out? I, I was ready to go. And I, I need to get away from no run and all the rumors about Albert. D they're not rumors. He, he's a rapist. Be merciful, Maddie. The man is suffering. Good! I know you don't want to hear this, but Albert is truly penitent. He's asked for forgiveness. What do you do, go see him every day? Well, he's my husband. He asked about you. You didn't tell him where I was, did you? Oh, for God's sake, Mom, you didn't... I don't understand why you just can't forget about him. I, I was hoping we could have a nice visit. This is for you. It's only a hundred, but... Ma, you can't afford... I, I don't... No, take it. I love you, Maddie. stuff bad. Yeah, I promise I'll be here this time. kid his age hang on the back of a bus? I sure know that's what we did. He's smart. Yeah, and I'll tell you what else I know. You two have got a habit of skipping school. You've got a good idea to find your parents and let them know about that. You're famous. Our folks understand. Groupies. Groupies. Now get, get, get. Oh, man. Shoot, 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 shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Shoot, shoot, Her brother? Probably. Next thing you know, they're probably off to the mall to practice some shoplifting. Okay, I guess you're just the hero. Oh, that's just great. That's just great. They come around again. I'm going to find their parents and call Mom's them. parents? Me and two of them wander around like wild animals. Wow. 
Tense. You alone? Yeah. Look, you got the stuff. Man, you're tense. I know. Come on. It's even better than what you did in jail. Okay. I'll do it the same way. Call any time. Busy day. Hi, Matt. You know, I forgot this. I had to come all the way back. I would have brought. I would have brought it to you. I didn't expect you to be home. I didn't expect you either. Maybe it's a good sign. Have a seat. I'm not ready. You don't carry me out of any room anywhere. I hated it. And I hated you. You broke my heart. I hated finding you at the tides with Jeremy. Nothing was going on, trucker. Don't you know me by now? How could you possibly think that I would deal with our problems by jumping into bed with another man? Those people do crazy things when they're, when they're hurt. Seems like we've been hurting each other for a long time. Ever since you started working, Blame it on whatever you want. I'm having a baby, trucker, and for its sake, things can't go on like this. I can't go on like this. Then come back to me. I'm sorry about last night. I made a mistake. But I love you. Trucker. And I need you. Don't you need me? Not like I used to. Okay, fine. That doesn't mean that things are over. And what does it mean? Do you want this marriage or not? Trucker, don't ask me that. Not now. When? Do you need more space? Do you need more time? Well, forget it. I think what you really need me from me is just to stand still here and wait for you while you do whatever the hell you please. It doesn't work that way, Trisha. If you ever decide you want me, I may not be around anymore. I just saw Trucker leaving. I wanted to explain to him what happened at the tides last night. It was quite innocent. Thanks, Jeremy. Don't bother. I've decided to leave for a while. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm not. Do you mind if I stay at the tides with you? Baki Batakumus for the Miposian Travel Bureau. I'd like to invite you on the vacation of this lifetime. Tonight on Perfect Strangers, you and the loathed one can be the first to explore Mipos, land of the untamed sheep herder. Coming up next, Erica brainstorms with Opal on how to spring her final trap on Jack. Stay tuned for All My Children. <laughs>